disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for the fair use for purpose such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is permitted by copyright statute. It might otherwise be infringing nonprofit education, personal use tips to balance in the favor of fair use. We're going to get a bit more analysis now from France 24's uh, Douglas Herbert. Doug, this coup in Gabon is now the eighth one in that region in three years. I, I, it might even be the ninth. I mean, it's easy to lose count. The army has seized power in a coup in Gabon. Senior officers intervened minutes after President Ali Bongo was declared the winner of disputed elections. The leader, whose family has been in power for more than half a century, is now under house arrest. The military have closed the borders of the Central African nation and dissolved all state institutions. World leaders have condemned the coup. The U.S. says it's deeply concerned about the unrest in the oil-producing country. Jubilant scenes on the streets of the Gabonese capital. After nearly 56 years of Bongo family rule, the political dynasty was overthrown by its own presidential Republican guard. After so much time, many there are excited at the prospect of change. This is Independence Day. The army has freed our country. We are free. We have the right to be free and to express ourselves the way we want. We've had enough of the PDG party. They've ruled us for decades, even if they never won any elections. While many of Libreville's residents are celebrating, the sentiment is not shared by everyone. The US and Russia expressed concern, while the EU said it may impose sanctions. The African Union and the UN condemned the coup, and Nigeria's president expressed alarm over what he called contagious autocracy. If successful, this will be the sixth African country where the military has seized power since 2020. The ousted president, now under house arrest, called for his supporters to take action. I'm Ali Bongo Ongimba, president of Gabon, and I'm to send a message to all the friends that we have all over the world to tell them to make noise, to make noise, for the people here have arrested me. It is by now a well-worn script. This, the eighth military coup in Western and Central Africa over the last three years. Gabonese military officers announcing their takeover on state television. Toutes les institutions de la République. Institutions were dissolved, they said, borders closed, and President Ali Bongo under house arrest, from where he issued a plea to his friends for help. I don't know what was going on. So I'm calling you to make noise, to make noise, to make noise, really. I'm, I'm thanking you. Many people did make noise out on the streets, but in celebration. Thanks to the army, thanks to the army, said this man. We're liberated, shouted another. Bongo's reign is over. Part of a family dynasty in power for over 50 years, Bongo was just declared the winner of elections, analysts say many people suspect were rigged. And they welcomed the coup. That, if the election had been credible, that perhaps that reaction would have been different. Gabon is rich in oil and minerals, but that wealth hasn't trickled down to the hands of ordinary people. Gabon's former colonizer, France, has condemned the coup. Et la France, surveille avec France reaffirms its wish for the election results once known to be respected, says this government spokesman. Anti-French sentiment has grown, not just in Gabon, but in other former French colonies where military juntas now rule. One of the coup leaders, Gabon's head of the presidential guard, General Nguema, is expected to play a key role in the coming days, feted here by soldiers calling him president. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.
black family, are we looking at the end of the rule of the Caucasian people on our planet? Are we looking at the end of the rule of dominance by white supremacy around the world? As I look and study and glance at the particular, particular global uh, phenomenons that's happening around our world, I cannot but interject that I am seeing the fall of white supremacy and degrees. It need to fall faster. We have in Africa the eighth uprising, a coup by the peoples. I don't know if every single one of these coups that are happening in Africa and coups that are happen happening in Africa, I don't know if they're by the people or by the CIA or by some white supremacy ruling force with some type of, of agenda. Agenda. Barely a month after Niger's military was toppled and its president, the Gabon's army sized power bringing it to the ninth number of military crews across the sub Sahara African country since African countries since 2022. International sanctions have been imposed to try to nudge the countries back to so-called democracy with a little success with more regions elected governments at risk of violent overthrows. French President Emmanuel Macron has warned that all the presidents in the region are more or less aware of the fate that awaits them unless democracy is restored. Black people, just take for a moment and take in what I just said with Emmanuel Macron, the president of France just said. France is the opposition. France is a leech. France is white supremacy. So, any countries in Africa who promote white supremacy to come into the land and rape the lands of its natural resources without the people of the country benefit, benefiting from the wealth that's accumulated by these puppet, these puppet presidents that the West put in power. I support all coups in Africa in the event of dispelling ouse puppet African leaders who have committed treason, selling out the people for the pleasure to please European nations around the world. That's a crying shame. Yet Africans will, will allow white supremacy to pit them against each other. And I support the recent coup that happened in Niger. Mohammed Mazum wasn't doing the people any justice by serving France on a platter to the natural resources like uranium, which power France. While 85% of our people in Niger had no electricity. With all that uranium, a rich nation like France in Niger, or Niger doing business? You mean to tell me that the only way that France 
can stay in power and stay rich is at the expense of African people. I support the coup, the coup, the coup in Nigeria. Now this recent one just happened in Gabon is a long time coming. A long time coming. People, don't you know in Kabon, Africa, there was only one ruling family that was installed by France. France colonized Gabon part of the 1884-85 Berlin Conference where France just took Gabon. Gabon country is the fifth largest oil producing nation in Africa. These puppet presidents at the so-called independence in the 60s, the late 60s of Africa was nothing but hypocritical. Because what happened is the French always leaves a house nigga in charge, a house Negro in charge that would make the people suffer. O oppressive regime has to be put in power when France pulls out and leave a house token nigga in power. The mentality of the leadership has to have white supremacy in mind in order for this country to thrive for the cabinet or the politicians, should I say, of a particular puppet regime. America does not install, France does not install, Germany does not install, it does not install a real black leader, African leader, who would do good by the people and make sure the youth have jobs, make sure that children are safe and taken care of, making sure our elders are not oppressed and taken care of, making sure the wealth that's accumulated by the nation won't support the poor people of those countries. We have one family, the Bongo family in Kabong, Yes, Omar Bongo ruled for 42 years. Omar Bongo died in 2009. He gained power in 1967. France put him in power. He was not elected, selected. Ali Bongo is his son. In 2000, from 1967 until 2009, one family, one president for 42 years, the Bongo president, Omar Bongo ruled for 42 years. Something's wrong with that picture. How in the hell you rule a country for 42 years, little, a little under 3 million is the populace. You rule for 42 years, 3 million is the populace. Under 3 million people is the populace. You're the fifth leading oil producers in the world. You have minerals. You had diamonds that the Western nation benefit from and get rich from your people live below the poverty line you ought to be shaming yourself if your last name 
is Bongo in Africa. His son Ali Bongo ruled from 2009 until the recent coup that just happened of August 30th, 2023. This is a fresh coup. The international community, Europeans, and African unions, the 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 echoes, you all are mad at Africans for taking and toppling dictators who 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 make the people suffer so that France can be well off, the well-being of France is well off at the expense of our African brothers and sisters and children. It's a new day in Africa. This is the fall of the wicked white man. I support all coups in Africa that are in the behalf of African people. I support Burkini Faso, Mali, Niger, Guinea, Puppet Omar Bongo, his son Ali Bongo, ought to be ashamed of themselves and group leaders in Kabong president and who's tied to his cabinet should be all thrown in jail for embezzlement and corruptness. And if you're still alive from 1940, I mean 1967, and you was part of the Kabong cabinet, you should be ashamed of yourself as an African for selling your people out for so many decades. I support all coups in Africa if it's to overthrow the yoke of white supremacy. Because at the yoke of white supremacy, African people die. Afri African people suffer. African people are political prisoners in jails in Africa right now because their stance against European nations who come in and rob and kill and rape the people. Why African leaders live in luxury. Ali Kabon got mansions all in America and France while his African people suffer. How do you live below the poverty line and you got under 3 million people in your country. This is a small country in Kabon. This is a prime example of large African countries that are being raped by Europeans while the African cabinets or the African presidents and politicians live rich. Same story in America. The rich get richer and the poor get poor. This is the European mindset. This is why you'll never get justice and freedom and equality when you're dealing with white people. I've been trying to run that through our people here, over here in America. You can look cross seas and see what happens. How is it the richest place in the world for as minerals and resources and manpower People be the poorest. There's something wrong with that picture. And I, you know something? I told Negroes in my recent video, you claiming that you Indian because you've been paid by this government to confuse our people in the time of awareness that we're Indians so we can't seek reparations. We're Indians. We're not Africans. So when they start killing Africans in Africa, we could say, them ain't our people. I told y'all, it's going to be a war in Africa. 
the white boy got a swing because African countries are closing its borders to white Western European countries. I told black people of the past who doubted me, who hate black people. We talking about black people who hate to give black people credit. They hate Africa. I told them, and what my words, my words are coming to prophecy. I told the world, as Africa goes, the white waste Western, Western nation depletes. It goes, it needs Africa. Remember the 1984, I mean the 1884, the 1885 conference in Berlin where all nations, white nations showed up to carve up Africa. And it's the, uh, it's the race for Africa all over again. The Chinese is there. The Russians, and, the Russians are there. See, the Russians and Chinese are lending hand to Africa, not trying to oppress Africa, not trying to colonize Africa, but deal for deal, business for business. We don't have to love each other. We don't have to like each other, do business. If the Europeans did business, the Western world did, did business like it's supposed to do business, instead of seeing African people suffer. See, they want African people to die off and suffer because I told y'all about the dominance of our genes. They cannot afford to have black people living on the same level that they live on economically. You got to make Africans poor. Less babies, less a productive life that the baby will have if the baby and the people are always poor. Because they charge for health care, that costs money. And if you ain't got money for health care and don't know nothing about the uh, herbal uh, principles, how we're supposed to live, you die. So, number one, white folks around the world cannot see Africans benefiting from the riches of its own resources. And it's a damn shame that these puppet leaders will sell their people out like that. Yes, I support all coups in Africa. All coups in Africa. From Burkina Faso to Gabon to Nigeria, Guinea, Chad, Mali. I don't know about Sudan. And I don't know about Gabon. But it was time for Kabon to be toppled. And the reason why I don't know about Kabon, because Kabon was toppled by the cousin of Ali Bongo. Maybe his cousin ain't the same like his kin people, his kinfolk, because his kinfolk love white folk. And they'll do anything for white folk. You see that your boy, uh, anybody want to make noise? Because he told everybody to make noise. You see your boy, Ali Bongo, he marries a white woman. That shows you where his head is at. After all the imperialist killing of your people in Gabon by, Fr by France and America and Germany and all white people, you turn around and marry a Neanderthal, a white woman. All the beautiful women in Gabon, all the beautiful women in Africa, he chose a white woman who put cables on him to keep raping his people, and he's mad and wants somebody to make noise right after the election this the third term of Kabon, of a of, of bongo rule in Kabon? Not so fast. I hope Kabon recent coup is in the behalf of the people. And if it is, I support it in black power. Black power. And hey, y'all leave comments below. If this the end of the white man's rule on our planet as we know it, 
as Africans are waking up across the planet? Y'all leave comments below because we know Negroes over here. We so asleep. We don't keep up what's going on in Africa. As Africa goes, the world goes. Peace and black power.